Welcome to another video by Pharos Technology. Today we want to talk about how to create a Cartesian product and effectively use it to create data in your own database. Now, what a Cartesian product is, is what they call a cross-join. It's, it's theoretical in SQL, and being theoretical in SQL, it's basically a mathematical uh, construct, X cross Y. Now, X cross Y means that you're going to combine two data sets with, where every element of X is going to be joined with an element of Y. So what you end up with, if you've got 15 items in one table and three items in another table, you're going to have a total of 45 elements in the Cartesian product when you multiply them together. So this is usually not something you want to do, something you a lot of times accidentally will do when you forget to join two tables um, and you get a lot more data than you ever wanted. But there are times when you want to, let's say, append a field to the end of a, a query set that's the current date and any record added at the end of adding all those records. Let's say you want to end to append the current date on the end of those tables to, to record when they were added. You might run through one query that has the whole data set and just has another uh, table with the current date in it. And that current date is just not joined to the table, but you pull that query element into the end of the query and create that extra field with the current date in it, filtering only for those ones that were created or had no date. So it's a very good tool that you can use in times where you need that kind of quick and easy addition to your data or embellishment to your data. So what I have here in my database is I, I went to the National Hockey League on a wiki page. They had a list of all 31 teams in the National Hockey League. And what I want to do is simulate the idea of putting together a round robin tournament of all of these teams. And in order to put together a round robin tournament, I need to create a cross join. So notice I have a table here. And if I double click on the table and open it up, you see that the table has the names of all the teams in the National Hockey League. So now what I want to do is create a, a list where the Boston Bruins are playing all the other teams and the Buffalo Sabres are playing all of the other teams. Now, the first thing I'll do is I'll join them, and then I'll show you that you have to make sure that the Boston Bruins aren't playing the Boston Bruins, because that would be kind of difficult. It, of course, wouldn't be very effective to do that, but I'll show you how to exclude um, those items so that you only have the teams playing the other teams. So each team is going to play 30 games. Okay, let's do that. Let's close this table, and I don't want to save any changes. I want to go here to Create. I want to go to Query Design, and then I'm going to drag in the team list. And notice I've got one field called the hockey team, and that's the, the one field that you saw when I opened the table. Uh, but where's the other table? Well, I can easily just pull in that table twice. And so now I've got the table in there twice. Now what I want to do is have two columns, one with the list of teams going against the other list of teams so that they get joined in a Cartesian product. So I'm going to drag this down to field one and drag this one down to field one. Okay. And notice down here what table it's coming from. It says this one comes from table team list and this one comes from table team list underscore one. Okay. So it differentiates between the two table sets that I have in my query and will give me a Cartesian product. So let's go ahead and run that. And you notice that we've got the Boston Bruins and the Buffalo Sabres playing everybody on the other side. So it lists everybody one time through here down to the Boston Bruins here. So this list here is everybody playing the Boston Bruins. Well, it also includes the Boston Bruins playing the Boston Bruins. So let's, let's go fix that, okay? So I'm going to go back to the edit view. And I'm going to say that this here cannot equal, cannot equal, um, table, team, list, okay, dot, hockey team, okay, 
So now I, I've said we're going to make sure that the record in this doesn't equal a record in this. Okay, let's run it and see if that works. And we go like this and we have the Buffalo Sabres playing the Boston Bruins all the way down through here. And we don't see the Boston Bruins listed here at all. But we see the Boston Bruins here listed when it starts with the Buffalo Sabres. But it skips the Buffalo Sabres here so that they don't play against the Buffalo Sabres. So we have a quick and easy Cartesian list. Now we can figure out how we can export this maybe to a separate table and we can actually start assigning dates and locations. Maybe if they're listed on the left-hand side, they're the home team. And when they're listed on the right-hand side, they're the away team. And we can pick dates and we can add over here and we can add what uh, city they're going to play in, what coliseum they uh, or venue they're going to play in. And we can build out the schedule. And I, I have a feeling that this is kind, kind of the way that they do things when they're setting up the schedules for the next year and the following year and uh, get all the teams making sure that they play each other before the playoffs. So hope you enjoyed this little tip and uh, hope to see you sometime again. Thanks. If you enjoyed the content that you saw today and would like to help me grow the channel, hover your mouse over my picture to the left and click on subscribe. There are also other videos showing on the screen that you might enjoy.